Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to model the famous Cathedral of Brasilia by the architect Oscar Niemeyer. And even though it's uh, quite an elaborate shape, it's quite easy to model. We only need to create one of these hyperbolic continuous curve elements and then just duplicate it around in a circle or a ring and we have our structure. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template. So I'm going to open that up. And first I'm just going to set the units. So I'm going to set them to meters because that's what I prefer working in. And once that's done, I'm now going to basically place some reference planes to help me model this structure. So I'm just going to type in RP for reference plane and let's create one vertical reference plane and one horizontal reference plane to have basically our st the center of our structure. So now I'm just going to go here to annotate and I'm going to create a detail line. So you can either go into annotate and find detail line or you can just type in DL for a shortcut. And I'm just going to create a circle like so. And now I'm going to select it and for the diameter I'm just going to put in 30 or basically 60 is the whole diameter. Now I'm just going to create another reference plane over here and extend it a little bit and then duplicate it to the other side by just mirroring it around the center axis. So now once we've created this we can go down into a south elevation and you can see here we have our reference planes, maybe we can extend them a bit. And the center one can go like so. And let's just change the, basically the scale to, I don't know, 1 and 200 is probably right for this project. So I'm just going to extend these two like so. And for this one, for level 2 or basically the top of our whole structure, I'm going to type in here 40 meters. So this is the actual height of the structure that we need. Okay, once this is completed, we need to add just a couple of more reference planes that we're going to be using during this project. So I'm just going to go RP again for reference plane and I'm going to place one like this vertically and one horizontally. And for the horizontal one, for this offset from the ground, I'm going to put in 26 meters and for this one, for this offset, I'm going to type in here 21 meters. This is just something I'm going to use when I create this curve over here. Okay, so once, when, once this is completed, we can go into massing environment to create the actual structure. So I'm going to go here to massing in site, find in place mass, just close out of this. We can name it, let's, let's just leave it at mass one, doesn't really matter. And now we can create our massing. So to do that, I'm just going to set the reference plane first. So I'm going to go to level one, go here to reference line, because we need to create a, basically a spline that will add some profiles to, and then we'll create, the, create some sort of a guided sweep. So I'm just going to go here to set reference plane, I'm going to go pick a plane and I'm going to pick this one over here. And I'm going to go to south elevation to start modeling. Now I'm just going to choose here spline true points and the first point I'm going to start here in the corner. I hope you can see everything. It's quite faded. But anyway, so I'm just going to create one here, one here, one like this and then one like this. And when I select this point over here, this here dim line should be at 15 meters. And then you just adjust these in order to get your shape. So let's change this over here, maybe like so, to get more of that curve. And this looks fine. Okay, so now once we have this spline, we can go into 3D and here is our spline in 3D. And now let's start doing the profiles. Now you can use as many profiles as you want. I'm going to go with three of profiles. That's the minimum number of profiles necessary for this shape. So I'm just going to go here, set work plane. I'm going to choose the beginning point. And then I'm just going to go here to model. 
model on work plane and I'm just going to choose here inscribed polygon and for sides I'm going to choose three sides so just type in three sides come in here and you just pull it up upward you can see this little guideline this blue guideline that we get and I'm just going to create it real real small so something like 0.12 meters that's fine and then this is the crucial one the middle one so I'm just going to set the work plane to that maybe we can go up like this okay now again go inscribed polygon three-sided choose this side and then again you pull it out when you have this blue guideline so it's kinda of perpendicular to the structure yeah like this and I'm going to put it at 1.5 meters for that one and for the final one at the top just go set work plane set this one and then just place it and again something real small like so okay so once we have that just by holding the control key you can see you get this little plus sign you select this you select this little triangle and these two as well and once that's done you just go create form and you get something like this it looks like a weird banana but anyway you need to select this whole structure so you just hover over one of the lines and you hit tab and then it allows you to select the whole thing once you do that you go back to level one and you go here to rotate or just type in RO for a shortcut then we're just going to place the center of rotation in the center of our structure we're going to hit here copy and for the angle I'm just going to type in 20 once we have that we go back here again hover over the this basically construction part hit the tab hit hold the control and select it and now you have two of them selected then you can go ag again rotate or just RO for rotation place the point in the center go with copy and then let's copy it by 40 degrees okay and now you get the point you just do basically the same thing again to copy it again and you go with 80 degrees right now and now we can just continue copying it around copy place here 80 and here we have just two more so I'm just going to hover around hit tab select it hit tab hold control select two of them go rotate place the point of rotation here hit copy and go with 40 and okay now we have the whole structure if we go into the 3d view you get something like this and it's kinda nice and closed in the middle and it's open at all points so once we have this we just need to add the actual glass portion and we need to add the cap over here as well and to do that I'm just going to go to south elevation again I'm going to create a reference plane just by hitting RP for reference plane and I'm just going to place it like this select it select this dim line end and place it at level 1 and I'm just going to type in here 30 meters because the cap is at around 30 meters and I'm just going to name this cap and I'm going to go to the site plan like so and just set the work plane to cap so just go by name cap ok and I'm going to be using a model line and I'm going to create a circle from here so just something like that ok now you go into 3d you can select this circle and you go create form and you go with this cylinder type form and you can maybe make it a bit smaller okay that looks about right so we have our cap okay now let's add some material to this so I'm just going to select everything go here into filter check none and then I'm just going to check form go apply okay so now we have just the form selected and I'm going to here go here to material open it up and let's find some white concrete so I'm just going to go here to concrete and maybe this looks white but this is panels let's check this out 
or maybe this this one's a bit nicer so let's try this one load it in go apply okay and now we have the material and now I'm just going to go here to wireframe just till we finish this massing so I'm going to go back to south elevation or first to level one go create and let's create a model line so just go model line set to the work plane pick a plane okay let's pick this one go into south elevation and now let's just model this line as a spline and let's start somewhere over here and then you just need to follow this line and if you can't see it you just put it at wireframe and then just well let's start this line again so spline start from here and then just follow the curvature of your building so something like this and end it here at this cap so I'm just going to end it there hit modify okay and then we need just a reference line so I'm just going to place a reference line vertically like this and now you can zoom in select your line select your reference line and go create form and select this funnel shape and if we go into 3d that's what we get we get this funnel shape and let's put this to realistic yeah that looks about right so now we can finish this mass and it takes us back into the project and let's add glass for this so I'm just going to go here to massing in sight curtain system let's select this thing and this thing as well go create system and now we're going to have a glass system and let's just go back into level one and create a camera view to see what we created and let's just adjust the camera target elevation at 50 meters perhaps yeah this looks real nice and let's render it just to see how it looks like so tap double R for render let's go with medium and let's try it out yeah it looks quite nice okay so this is it for this tutorial I hope it was quite helpful make sure to like and subscribe and share it with your friends thank you for watching leave a comment if you have any comments questions or suggestions for future tutorials and see you tomorrow